Okay, what I got here is a uh, Delta Shop Master. This is a 12 inch bandsaw. Uh, this one here is all made out of cast metal. Some aluminum here. Plastic, you're only gonna find a couple pieces of plastic on this whole thing. Uh, this is like the, uh, the homeowner high-end saw, something like that. It's got a half inch, or got a uh, half horsepower motor on. I'll show you that here in a minute. Let's go ahead and open this up. And you can see inside of this, uh, it's got the cast aluminum wheels. So it's okay, they work pretty good, these, these wheels do. Uh, I, I did change the, the tires, I guess they want to call them on it. Somebody said, oh, if you get this one here, you know how it is. But I think this original would have been just fine. Uh, of course, you know, everybody wants to up, upgrade them. Let's get this bottle. You can see inside of it, it's really clean. It's a little dusty there but right now because I cut a piece of wood on it. But a nice, clean sound, quiet. These are really nice to have, guys. Uh, if you can find one, man, pick it up. I mean, even if you're going to do uh, uh, little jobs, uh, you can put a small down to an inch and quarter blade on there. And, man, you can just... You know, where you don't want to use your, your bigger saw all the time because you got it set up for maybe cross cutting. This would be great just to do the small jobs. Let me get it turned around here. It's, I'll show you the other side. And it's not light either, it's, it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. Uh, runs 110, like I said, half horse. Motor set's on the outside, so if you need to change it, it's not hard to change. Um, it's sitting on a uh, its own stand. It's got an all steel stand. This is some kind of cast here. Um, of course, your adjustment. It's got a gauge on the back side here that whatever size blade you put on it, you just run it to that gauge. It will say like if you got a half inch blade, because that ties it goes half inch, you set this gauge to half inch. That's your tension on your blade. And that's pretty nice. Of course, this sets your blade back for it. Uh, of course, it's 12 inches from the from the blade back. That's your cutting depth. I think you get about three and a half inches cross cut. If you want to cross cut two by four, you can do it on here. Uh, let's see what else. That's basically about it. It's got a a, uh, a port on the back of it. You can just hook a you know like your shop back, the bigger hose for shop back hooks on there. Very nice. I've had that on there. Now this one I only used a few times. And the table does tilt, so that's that's a plus. You know what I mean? Uh, I've used this only a few times. Uh, most of the things I was doing, I need to actually cross cut, you know, six, eight, six, eight, maybe 12 inches. So the new saw, uh, band saw that I bought, it does that. So I'm going to be able to uh, upgrade everything through the shop and uh, put out a little bit more different products, uh, you know, where I can sell and stuff. But uh, this one here, I did have it up for sale and I really made on the selling it. Uh, because you know you, it's really hard to find these uh, these saws. Most of them just come plastic, and they you know they don't. It's not the whole thing. This one came. Everything here came with it. Uh, it was really nice when I pulled it out of the box. Now I didn't have a uh, a uh, what do you want to call it uh, guide or whatever you know uh, slide bar guide, whatever you want to call it, or a miter a cross miter thing. I didn't have that. It, the miter thing, I thought it was down there somewhere, but I can't remember where it was at. Uh, but it's been so long that I, I might have pitched it out or used it for something else. I don't even know if it came with because it's not even been used on here and there's no, uh, you know, no bar or nothing across here for your, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it never came with it. Now, it has holes in it where you can actually, you know, you can put one on it if you can find one, but it didn't come with it in the box when I first bought it. So, But Delta's been making pretty good tools for many, many years and uh, uh, this is just another good example of some of the older tools they made, but like I said, this one's been in, uh, been sitting around for a while. I haven't really used it that that much because I wasn't into too much of that woodworking until now, and I'm getting into it. But but if you could run into one of these somewhere, you know, go ahead and pick it up because this is just a perfect little uh, bandsaw for uh, you know doing little projects, uh, kits. Uh, it's like an upgrade from one of the 10 inch bandsaws or the 9 inch bandsaws that you, you might buy from Lowe's or something like that. But uh, when you pick up something like this, you know it's going to last for a long time. You're going to get a lot of wear out of it. 
and you can also go up to a half inch uh, uh, blade on it that makes it nice so you can cut some of the bigger stuff and then you can go down and cut some of the smaller stuff uh, I've never had any issues with this it's always run just as smooth as long as you tune it up you know and keep the guides all in place uh, I kind of wish there was roller bearings you know these will I mean all the, they've got roll bearings on the back but uh, I'm, I'm a roll bearing guy. I like the roll bearings on the blade. I don't know. You don't have to have them. They say this is better this way. They said, you know, because actually I can upgrade my other saw and put the same type of little blocks on it, and they're more expensive than roll bearings. So I don't know. I don't know. I can't tell you. But, uh, yeah, if you can find one of these, man, just, just grab it because it's, it's well worth it. Okay, uh, you got any comments, uh, you know, leave them down below. Please subscribe to the channel, and, and thanks for watching.